<laughs> Hello, my cartoon friends! <laughs> Welcome to Corny Creek Farms. I'm Dave McDonald. Yep, you've come to expect those sound effects here. I know you love them. And unless you have the sound turned up too loud, then it comes over as being a little obnoxious. But <laughs> that's the name of the game here. We're being silly. We're having fun. We're drawing. Today's Saturday morning, how to draw cartoons. We're going to draw something different. For the past few weeks, we've been doing mashup characters, and that's a lot of fun. But I got to thinking about what I used to do before I started drawing cartoons. And one of those things that I used to do was uh, I created a TV show for kids, and it had puppet characters in it. And there was one puppet character that was evil. <laughs> he was something very fictitious. I made him up, kind of a mashup character if you think about it. It was the red eyed, saber tooth, weasel mouse. Bum bum bum. <laughs> I don't know. He didn't make any noises, I don't think. <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> Red-eyed saber-tooth weasel mouse. It is kind of a mashup after all, isn't it? Weasel and mouse, saber-tooth, red-eye. So we're gonna draw this character as I recall him. I don't, I don't think I have the puppet character of that character anymore, that puppet. But I do recall kind of what he looked like. It's a weasel, it's a mouse, saber-teeth, saber, you know what they look like, big long tooth in the front. So let's get drawing the red-eyed, saber-tooth, weasel mouse. He starts, let's put his head here. He's gonna start with an oval shape. Once again, we always start with some simple shapes to give us a basis or an outline to follow. That's gonna be his head. It'll come to kind of a point here, almost like, well, that's the weasel part of it, I guess. They have that pointy, well, I guess a mouse does too. But there's his head. His ears, big mouse ears. I, guess, I think uh, weasels have tiny ears, but this character I think had big mouse ears. So just oval shapes on either side, I think. Let's see, let's give him big oval shaped eyes right there. All right. And he was evil. Well, he wasn't evil, but he always stole the cheese from the, from the diner, the Pokeberry Diner as I recall. So to give him kind of a menacing look, let's put those big heavy eyebrows over his eyeballs. And he's looking off that way. So his pupils are positioned on the left side of those shapes. He's got a little mouse slash weasel nose <laughs> and perhaps some whiskers coming off. Now let's do his neck. His neck comes down. Let's do this kind of a weasels. I think they have long necks, so we'll give them a long neck down to a kind of a, a mouse body. This, that looks weird. And did he have a mouse tail or a weasel tail? I'm not sure. I'm going to give him a, a little weasel tail. Right, like that, just with some simple S shapes. His body, of course, would be, you know, I just made some S shapes, but his body, you can see, is an oval shape at the bottom here, too. His feet, let's give him real big feet. I don't know that he, the puppet had feet, but we're going to give him big feet. So let's draw your ovals in down here and take your pencil and make some curved lines that come down. to those ovals. All right. And maybe they have big long toenails or hairs sticking out of them. <laughs> His hand will just be kind of, let's see, maybe he's just standing here. Maybe he's got real short hands. A short arm, just waiting. And now, 
take a little bit of the roundness off the bottom, make it a little narrower, the saber tooth part. And those just curved lines coming down from the snout like that, like so. Maybe we see the other one on the other side slightly like that. And we could even do this. I think he had more teeth than just the saber teeth. So we'll give him a whole row of sharp, razor sharp teeth. Now he, he didn't harm anyone. He was just looking scary so that he could steal the cheese from the diner. <laughs> so there's going to be his ears, maybe some hair. All right, I think that's, and maybe back here behind him in the wall, we'll put his kind of mouth hole where he comes out of. So this is the edge, this is the wall, and then this is the floor here. All right, so there he is, and I think he'll be saying, let's see, where's my other... I keep losing my markers. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll use this one. We'll, we'll just get started here with the character. The nose, you know I like to do a black little animal nose with a little white spot. What does that represent? Oh my word, if you don't know by now, you haven't been paying attention while you're watching all these videos I've been doing. I know you know what it is. It's that glint, the hint of light, reflection. Okay. Do that for some dimension. I like to make some of these lines a little thicker. So I go back over them with my brush marker, as you can see. And let's see here, eyeballs. Eyebrows. All right, nice thick. Go in there with a heavier marker if I want. Pupils, again, little black pupils with a little white hint, a reflection, right? We've been doing that all along. So there's the mouth line. And now let's do his first saber tooth. And again, you get to see a little bit of the other one in the background. And maybe that one's kind of shaded a little bit because it doesn't have as much light on it. And some triangles for some sharp teeth. <laughs> Another fun little mouse ear with some shading using some hash lines like that. And okay, so now this S-shaped neck. Going down to the mouse body. Can you see this? Let me look up here. Yep, I guess I'm top of it's out of the frame, but you can see this. Big long hairs or toenails sticking out. Just all kind of gross. <laughs> he's a weasel mouse. I don't think he's concerned with how his hair looks. Do you? With his hand. We 
weasel tail. Now here's a little fun detail we'll put on. Just these random hair marks. Just take your pen. They don't have to be straight. They can go sideways and every which way. Just to give them a kind of a scruffy appearance. A rough texture. This gives it a almost a menacing and make some stick out to the side and off the bottom and the top just randomly. <laughs> yeah, you know, it gives them a different look, different effect, kind of dirty and unkempt. The kind of kind of look you get when you get out of bed in the morning and your hair's not brushed. Of course, if you're me, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Eh, 50 points to the man in the middle. <laughs> he has no hair. What's he laughing about? All right, the weasel mouse. Let's see. Okay, let's do the background. Okay, here's the wall leading to the mouse hole. And what we can do here is well, I'll just do it real quickly with some shading. We'll do some cross hatching here. So in other words, we're going this way with some lines, right? And then we'll turn the paper and we'll go this way with some lines. Cross hatching. And again, you could fill it in totally with black or you could give it this kind of effect, which is more gray when you look at it, just a different contrast. You could make it darker in one area. Let's say it's darker in the back. Just then go over those areas more so that when you look at it, it has the appearance of being darker than the other areas. See how it's more, it's lighter here than it is here in the background. And again, I could fill that completely in, but I'm going to just kind of leave it like that. All right. And so the red eyed saber tooth weasel mouth, he's saying, give me your cheese. Dun, dun, dun. Give me your cheese. The red-eyed saber-tooth weasel mouse. A character that once graced the screens of a children's television show as a puppet. And not so much as <laughs> a drawing. But a rec recalling what I think he looked like. This is pretty close, I guess. How did yours come out? It was a mashup, right? We had a little bit of fun combining two characters. Yeah, give me your cheese. I hope you had fun drawing the red-eyed saber-tooth weasel mouse. Until next time, be safe, be well, and take care of one another. All right, from Corny Creek Farms, Mr. Dave signing off. <laughs>